I'm HM3 Nelson Vishal. I'm from Ellicott City, Maryland. I'm attached with 1st Landing Support Battalion. So what we did today was a drill, a cherry picker drill, basically nationalizing a simulation of a casualty a situation up at the port side by the ship. So we have a casualty in the ship and how we're gonna get them to our medical facility. First at the port, we treat the patient, stabilize them, make sure they're breathing and so they're not going into a shock. And from there, we go to the roll two. So I'm roll one care and then roll two care is the shock trauma platoon that you see behind me. So roll two care basically stabilizes the patient until we can transfer them over to a hospital. So from this point, the medics from Yambu Hospital, they come over here and pick up the patient and they will take them to the Yambu Hospital. Just like any training that Marine Corps does, it's just a real life simulation. So that when this actually happens, we are not panicking, uh, we are not freezing at that point. So we have done this in a very controlled environment so that in real life, we can go into action. And also, when we do these drills, we find what, what we call like the faults in the, or the cracks in the training that we need to fix so that we can save a life. When we are forward deployed, we don't have much advanced capabilities. But what we do have is like to keep a patient alive in, care, in case of a massive trauma or accident that happens, we can keep them alive for like two hours. That's what our facilities uh, can support. And that's what the whole point is, is of medical in a forward deployed environment is to keep the Marines in the fight.